hey what's going on guys welcome back to another vrp video thank you guys for all the love and all the support on the previous videos i do appreciate it um and this video is going to be more of a sit don't talk chat video because um i posted a video on tuesday which kind of it was a risky post because it was me pretty much kind of giving the guys some expectations that i had regarding uh certain scenes and how things should be handled etc etc now um there was a comment that i removed uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cap i removed it saying way to promote your server and i don't know what that person was trying to be shady or something but i i, I think that i need to make it very very clear for persons i'm not i'm not afraid to show there that some communities go through problems i'm not afraid to show that dvrp has had things that we need to fix and we need to understand etc etc like a lot of communities go there they only show the good they give you guys guys this false sense of security that this is a good community because they only show the good and then once you get in it you get faced and played with a lot of bs the good thing is about dvrp is that we are pretty transparent and we are pretty we show you know both the good and the bad etc yes there's some bad things that we do not want the public to see obviously for obvious reasons and those things are usually handled very very quickly for example if somebody's being toxic to somebody else it's gonna be handled pretty quickly if somebody in the community constantly breaks our rules they will be terminated all of these things are not new for persons to see but i have no problem um posting certain things once it once it it I can defend my stance once i can say okay this might be seen this way but it will open up some kind of discussion in the in the comment section down below and that's kind of what i want i want you guys to have if you guys disagree with me on certain things i want you guys to feel free to be respectful and come down to the comment section and say okay well i don't agree with you chat on this point here is my points and here is uh my my reasoning for it etc I don't have a problem with that at all. I actually, I want it to be encouraged on my live streams and encouraged on my channel. I want you guys to engage with me and talk to me about certain things. Because as you guys know, I'm not from America. I spent a lot of time learning these things because I wanted to be able to do this right. So I'm not from America. There's not everything that I am going to know. And if I'm being completely honest, sometimes I know more than, than the normal American and that's not me bragging or anything that's just me stating what i have experienced and that is sometimes a lot of the americans ask me questions about certain things and it's only because i researched them and i know uh, they're popular channels that i watch donor operator audit the audit these guys and even even feta 1811 um that guy he's really 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 controversial when it comes to talking about women and stuff like that but he's very very knowledgeable when it comes to federal law when it comes to state law when it comes to these kind of things because he was a homeland agent you get what i'm saying so when it comes to these kind of situations i research a lot and i spend a lot of my time trying to understand u.s law and understand certain things so when i'm saying stuff from there it's not because i'm saying it to just say stuff out of my butt i'm just saying it because i understand this point and i can defend it okay so that's why i'm not afraid to post some things that are controversial and i and i hope that the guys don't don't feel bad about about it i really hope that they they don't because um this is not me talking down to them or saying certain things i, I just have expectations i give the guys in the community some freedom to do certain things and because of different reasons and for example with with this i know that there's some things that um, normal police departments won't be able to do irl but because we don't have any federal agencies in dvrp and that's a, there's a very big reason for that the biggest reason is ego a lot of people will say oh we are a federal agency and we, you do what we say etc and it comes into a big pissing match and a big ego battle and i rather not stress with that we already have it with atu and swat and normal patrol units where people have this pissing match and oh my my my, my badge is bigger than yours kind of deal and if we're already dealing with that why would i want to add in a federal agency for persons to do another reason why i have i don't have federal agencies in dvrp is because i do not know much much more about federal stuff that's why i've been watching uh fed 811 because he's giving it from a federal standpoint as well and i know that federal law and state law has some differences some minute differences etc so 
those kinds of things is what I think about when I try to become, you know, when I try to lead this community into a different plane. So I'm just giving you guys a little bit of context of what goes down in the VRP in my brain, etc. I'm actually putting this over some footage that uh, the in-game in audio didn't record. So, yeah, so you guys get to see this in-game audio. I didn't want to delete it, but you guys get to see this in-game footage. And actually, I don't even know if I didn't delete it or not. Well, if you guys see it in the background means that I did not delete it and it's still there. But it didn't record the in-game audio, which was a super bummer because it was a really good scene. And I wanted you guys to see it, but you only got my voice, which was unfortunate. But anyways, um, yeah, that that um, I hope that covers it. And I hope that kind of makes people understand a little bit of DVRP and what I expect. And it's it's not it's not super unrealistic. I just want the guys to be creative. I want the guys to think outside the box. I want the guys to use the rules as just the baseline but think outside of the box a little bit to try to get the criminals and and stuff like that and that goes from both civilian and and, and um and elio i want those who are civilians to think outside the box and what kind of scenes they can create you guys have seen me do some creative stuff on a channel it's only recently that i haven't really been doing some i've just been chilling bro if i'm being completely honest uh my brain is technically a little bit still in vacation mode and i'm trying to get it back up into that light high level of efficiency i've had before but um it's not there yet and i'm i'm getting back up to it i'm getting my schedule back together and everything done and uh yeah so I, I expect some creativity between the guys, not only law enforcement, but with civilians as well. And if they want to, and that's why I give the guys like so much freedom to do certain things, because it's like, I mean, th this community belongs to the members. I'm just leading it. I'm just leading it and paying for most of the stuff. That's it. This community belongs to, to the to the members and the members who decide, who, who say, okay, I can follow his vision and his mini, his mini mind. I can follow his vision to become making a realistic RP community, making a community that people don't have to feel, don't feel discriminated or are, are pressed against or feel bad about themselves. They can look at the vision of the community and say, oh, I want to get on this train. And then once they get on, they can make their own little, uh, what's the word, uh, contribution to where the community is going. And that's what I want. I want people to see the vision, see what's the baseline rules that I set, and then they can come in and contribute however they feel like. And that makes people, that builds a strong community. That makes people feel like, okay, I can be a part of this. You get what I'm saying? So that's kind of what I want from this. And that's what I want from community. And that's why I give the guys so much freedom to do certain things. Like it's unreal how much freedom that I give them. And uh, we, we kind of try to inspire creativity. Now, creativity in the community has not been at the greatest right now i don't know what it is but i i want people to be a little bit more creative of the stuff that they've been doing we've had a lot of like shootings and stuff like that i mean that's fun that's entertaining but that is an rp and that's what i want to want to focus on in the future i want to have realistic stuff i want my brain to be cracking on on stream trying to figure out certain things and i don't want it to be trying to figure out certain things because of a lack of information i want it to be the information is right in front of me and I don't see it. That's what uh, what the cracking thing I want to do. I want to be like Sherlock Holmes or something like that. Like trying to figure this out, bro. That's what I kind of want to be. And that's the that's the that's what I want to bring into DVRP. We can be making some changes development wise pretty soon. And I am gonna be doing some stuff with the cars and and adding in engine sounds, changing up engine sounds, changing up the cars and cause the cars are gotten getting gotten I've gotten pretty stale. I'm not gonna lie. So if you're a DVRP member, this is your time to go ahead and suggest a few cars because uh I I'm looking to change around all the cars in DVRP. Not all of them, some of them will stay, but I'm gonna reduce how many civ cars are in the server. And uh based on what I've heard from some of the other law enforcement, they also want to reduce some of the LEO cars. Um, I'm going to be taking out some of the interiors as well because a lot of persons are not using them and I feel like I'm wasting my money spending um, spending money every month for for certain things that people are not using. You get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. And I just want some of the civilians too to settle down. They're, they've been getting a little bit rowdy, but, you know, certain things are being done. 
Um, I do have to give some props to certain departments like LS Padu, who has making made a very big push, as well as uh, BCSO, who has really decided to um, like they 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 have like I don't know they have like really pushed like their departments and stuff like that and it's really i can see the effort i want to thank you guys for your effort and everything the lsb the mbcso sasb has always been a really good department they just have to kind of maintain and expand a little bit more but um yeah everybody is doing pretty good right now i'm trying to bring back up the civilian department because uh our civilian director has some personal issues that he has to go ahead and figure it out and i want you guys to keep caving in your praise making sure that he um you guys give him some love etc but um media team some people have been streaming a lot i've seen Bo streaming a lot i've seen malik streaming a lot. i want to give those guys some props to be continuously streaming don trees have been streaming with us so the vrp in itself is in a in a good maintenance space we just need to take it over the edge especially coming up to summer so if you guys have any questions comments or concerns regarding the vrp or anything i've said you guys can if you're in the vrp you can pop me a, a dm um you could also go ahead and um you know, if you guys have anything, uh, your support, you have anything you want to say in the description, in the comment section, sorry, you guys can go ahead and do that. But I want to say thank you guys again for all the love and all support. Thank you guys for the super chats and the memberships and everything. I promise I'll be doing some stuff with the members soon. I just I just need to figure out what it is I want to give you guys, like what perks it is that you guys want to have. The first one being the members who purchase a fifty dollar tier up are going to be able to DM me anytime they want, and I'll respond when I can. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Have a great week. Peace, out. Coming up to upper field block six six twelve. Taking a left turn, passing upper field block right now six thirteen. Crossing over Vespucci, but still continuing on to Elgin. 751 Pasadena Square. Crossing over at our Vespucci Boulevard and Adam's Apple. Um, we're coming up to the ammunition right turn, right turn, going on Adam's Apple. Spun out, spun out, spun out, stop, 754. He's still continuing. Crossing over Vespucci. Are we going to be taking a left turn, taking a left? We're going to be oh, strawberry out, strawberry out, touching the LTD, 753. Traffic stop. Miss Pucci Boulevard. What do you mean? Is Seven it, five is three. Damien, what did I do? Oh my god. Alright, right turn, right Where's turn. It like that? What did you do, Chad? What did you do? Stop. Out of the car. Damn. He's out of the car, running inside the 24 7. He's very gay. Damn. Off of the hammer, whisk, whisk, whiskey mail, wearing an orange hoodie, wearing duty. Um, yellow construction. They did the, the um, thing. What do you call it? Short. He's behind the register now. Wait, what? They, they set fire to the power station, so. So it's black He's with the knife, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Smart, smart, smart. Let me see. I clearly do two units on some cable. Please get a sign check. Seven truck. Uh, I mean, two look at 31 to the state unit right next to me. If you want to go ahead and shut the opposite lanes up this road, Strawberry, let's get a unit to shut down 835 over there, please. No clue, but if he tries anything funny, he's getting dropped. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at 31. Can we have a unit in the back in case he runs out the back door? Good. One out of one. There's no back door. Uh, two link at two to units on scene. Let me. Hey, hands up! Two units. Nope. Hands up! He has a knife. He has a knife. He's armed with a knife. If he comes back over here, I'm teasing the shit out of him. I link it to, if I can get a couple units to uh, move up to the door over on the, yeah, that's going to be west side of the building, moving to the front door. If I can also get a unit with a less than lethal. 
Let me grab the bean bag. I haven't grabbed the bean bag in a minute. Holy two to the quarantine. Could you please get your silence? Thank you. Deputy behind me with the AR on the bottom of the front. Uh, so you don't lose me. Uh, Deputy behind me with the AR on the bottom of the front. Uh, so you don't lose me. Bro, turn off your damn siren. Who's I'll shooting? No one's shooting. Yeah, I heard shots down the, down the thing. Oh. I don't want to get a little closer to the door with that uh, taser. I got beanbag. Mm -hmm. I can get it on him if necessary. Where is he at? Is he behind the register still? Hey, no, be up he's on the right side. He's behind like right, the like stall. Like stall? Yeah, he's, he's gonna be back. Stay down. Don't get up. Behind. Uh. On the ground. You got it. You ready, Mike? No, ready, Mike? Oh, so ready. Ready. Hey, reactivate that, reactivate it. Hey, drop, drop the, knife. the knife, man. Rotate to the left, rotate to the left, rotate to the left. Go, go, rotate to the left. Keep going, keep going all the way left. Don't move, man. Drop the knife out your hand. Do it now. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife, sir. Drop the knife. We're not going to approach you until you drop the knife. All right, move up. Put him in cuffs. We could also get somebody to go ahead and uh, get in one of these police cruisers oh, that are out there. Tonight? Oh, why are you shooting me, Bobby? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, well, you're evaded, and that's a felony. You so. said somebody got in a cruiser? Negative. I my apologies, uh, negative. It's uh, somebody can get inside that police cruiser that's with their sirens on. Are you just threatening to, to kill me? All right. I can change your uh, one switch to the Ten for one time. Ten fifteen. How many units are we have on scene? Uh, we got one, two, so three, four, five, 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 four units on six, seven, Whoa. eight. You just made a, you just made a criminal threat on seven law enforcement officials. Hello. Hello. All right, that's eight. Let's go. Hi. You're going to jail. What happened? Uh, there the fire, the power Perfect. station is on keep, fire. Keep, keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. There's a fire station here. The oh, power okay. station. Power station. Oh, power station. Oh. Okay. Oh, you mean here on this scene here? Yeah, here oh, because I don't know. I just pursue down, but, yeah. and a dude ran into the twenty four seven with a knife and barricaded himself. Oh. Yeah. Great. Totally. Love when that happens. Um okay. It's Anyways, so I don't know. I was curious because I seen someone going like one thirty down Algen. Anyway, sorry, have a good one. Alright.